Welcome back to World Pro Ski Tour Race Breaks. Unfortunately, we all had to hit the brakes this ski season, but our hope is to keep you entertained with fun guests like Phil Brown. Thanks for coming on, Phil. Thanks for having me. So, you were the 2019 World Pro Ski Tour champ. You ended fourth overall in 2020, so so far you've had some pretty successful seasons um, on the tour. So Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been great. Last year was uh, amazing uh, to to win the title, and then you know this year got cut a little bit short, uh, so I wasn't able to climb back up to towards the top of the standings. But uh, you know, those are the circumstances right now. It is. So the first question I want to ask you: um, How important is it to have the right gear? Skis, boots, poles, goggles. I know a lot of our fans spend long nights researching the right type of gear to buy. Um, but on race day, how is important, how important is it to you to have the right gear? Yeah, it's obviously super important, uh, to have the right setup and the right, uh, equipment. Um, as far as, you know, from one brand to another, I think they all kind of offer, uh, equivalent or comparable products, um, to help the everyday skier perform and also the elite skiers. Um, as an athlete, I think what's most important is that you're really confident with uh, what's under your feet as far as your boots and your skis and your poles and your helmet and everything. Um, if you're standing in a start gate kind of questioning um, the equipment that you're using, then uh, you're probably not going to perform to your best. Uh, but if you're confident and comfortable, uh, you have a better chance for success. It's all about confidence. <laughs> yeah. So, second question, who was your biggest rival this season? Yeah, I was, I was thinking about this. I don't know if I uh, can really come up with, with a, a rival from this season because uh, I don't think I raced any anybody twice uh, at any of the events. Um, you know, Rob Cohn was obviously skiing really well, so he was kind of the person that everybody was gunning for and trying to, uh, trying to take out, but... Um, you know, the cool part about the World Pro Ski Tour is that there there really isn't uh, a lot of rivalries or, you know, animosity from one athlete to another. I think uh, that's one of the really cool dynamics about the tour is that we're all kind of friendly on and off the hill and uh, we're sort of rooting for each other's success. Yeah, that, that is a cool dynamic that the World Pro Ski Tour brings. So let's get to the fan question from our post that we put up last week. So this was an awesome post of you at Howison Hill and Steamboat where you actually ended up second behind Rob. Um, so go ahead and pick a fan question and we'll hook that fan up with some World Pro Ski Tour swag. Yeah, so I saw a lot of uh, great questions on Facebook and Instagram, but the one uh, that stood out to me was actually an old teammate of mine and, and uh, I think the most decorated skier in Canadian history. That's Eric Gay. And Eric said, Phil, what's tougher, racing World Cup or racing the World Pro Ski Tour? Um, two runs as opposed to multiple runs, etc. Uh, I thought this was really interesting um, because I think they're very similar, obviously, in that it's an alpine event, but they're they're very different as well, and they both uh, present different challenges. And for me, I think the the length of the course uh, in World Cup proves to prove to be a lot more physically demanding, you know, because you're you know over a minute, a minute, minute and a half uh, each run, and so the fatigue uh, physically was al always really. Uh, a big challenge uh whereas on the world pro ski tour the runs are quite a bit shorter only 20 25 seconds so physically it's not quite as difficult uh but i found it to be mentally quite fatiguing given that you have to prepare for so many runs uh throughout the day uh, up to 14 runs if you make it all the way to the final so um you know to get yourself into that mental state where you're prepared to perform uh at your best you have to really be focused and kind of elevate your emotions and your intensity levels to go out of the start gate uh and to do that multiple times throughout the day is is for me uh very demanding mentally it's it's a little bit of a marathon in that perspective that's a the unique duality between uh you know physical fitness and mental fitness so eric thanks for asking that question phil Thank you for coming on Race Breaks. Until next time. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.